This is a video that everybody has been waiting for. We're harvesting my corn. But not only that, we have something special waiting in the field just for this moment, just for me to use. Okay, but the exciting news is we have a brand new combine just for my field. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Yeah, really special. But Mason won't let me drive it because he is too good of a combiner. Well, you're probably just not that good. But we are officially harvesting my field with a brand new, I should even say it's a brand new clock. Well, it's a brand new, yeah, there's only 13 hours on this brand new class combine to combine my field. I'll have to get out and get a video since Mason won't let me drive, but. You want to do the outside road? No, not really. Is he taking that truck back and emptying it so we know exactly how much my field is yielding? Probably. Okay. This doesn't look very good. Yeah, it's not looking so hot, is it? No. I mean, this is up in the corner and stuff. Yeah, this is a pretty bad part of the field. Has it always been bad? Yeah. Like, you can't just blame it on me? I mean, I think it had something to do with the sliding. What, what, what you got going on up here? Oh, no! <laughs> There's a tree! <laughs> That's, um... That's down. That's down. Yep, sure is. Well, there goes 500 bushels right there. Yep, there goes your <laughs> big, there goes Avery's big profit. Yeah. Here looks a lot better than it does, does up top. Yeah, the bottom will be pretty good. Not too shit. Hill monitors can help bring it in there. It's pretty good, right? 8,000 bushels an hour. That's a pretty good yield, even though it's not technically accurate once you get a back of the dry bushels, but... No. Pretty close. Pretty good. Pretty alright. Pretty schnazzy. So I did good? Yeah, not too bad yet. Got a barter with Mason to be able to drive and come by. Combine in my own field. He's just loving his life too much in the new I am. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> we'll let you drive once we get her over the top. Split. We'll let you up. And I know that farmers don't typically share their yields, but I'm not a regular farmer. I'm a cool farmer, so we'll share what the yields are in this field and this field only specifically. See if I grew big corn or not. I'm guessing 195. That's your bet. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that's. I think that's going to be on the high side. It's probably going to be more like 170. We can always hold. Well, and as a reminder, we basically had no rain all summer, and this field's not irrigated. And, and it's pretty sandy. Yeah, so it's like not the best dirt, no water. Not ideal growing situation. No. But it's the perfect size for me to have as my field, so. Just perfect. Perfect size for Avery to lose money on, Emily. Hey, but if the more people watch this video. Emily can have a bigger field. Watch this video so I can have more land, more acres more acres to try and mess up. Yeah. We'll get in. This is nerve-wracking. We're going to have to situate me. Alright, start going. Ow. 
over and forward. Is this far enough back? Yeah. Emily's in the driver's seat. See, it's touchy. Yeah. This can only end one of two ways. Bad or terrible. Hey. <laughs> you gotta speed up there, Chancho? No. No. Okay, Start I, turning. Okay, I press this one to get it down. Yep, and you gotta hold it down until it's at the right height. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Here, you just worry about running the head. Down, 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 oh. down, 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 up, up a little bit. Up. Oh. Ah. Jesus, Murphy. <laughs> Auto steer, let's get that going first. There you go, now you're picking corn. Oh. <laughs> yep, one of two ways. Bad or terrible, and we're we're off to okay. <laughs> so scared. At least there's auto steer right now. Praise Jesus. Well, you gotta watch stuff, though. No, I'm. There's that what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> the driver's seat's nicer, isn't it? I don't know. My heart's racing right now. It's probably better for my heart. <laughs> right. Cheese. How good this is gonna be. <laughs> this is so sketchy. <laughs> You're telling me. So huh. when it this is like when you're putting the head down, this button here is yeah. what you use to lift it up a little bit on the headlamp to push up here. And that brings oh. it that brings it all the way up. I this is like your fine tuning. I was here. This is like your fine tuning. Now, yeah, when it comes, now hit that. Just hit, now turn left. Should I go a little faster? I don't care. Just don't wreck it. No wreckage. No wreckage to happen. <laughs> How's it feel? I don't know. I have no words. When do I start turning? Yeah. Just aim so that one that snouts on the outside. Alright, straighten up. Oh god. Now slow just slow down. Just slow down. Well, You're off one. So move that snout over one. Now start going down. This way. Start going down. This way? Yep. This one. Yep. Okay. And now push it ahead a little bit. Alright, down a little bit. Oh, up a little bit. There you go. Now push it ahead and hit the auto. Yep. And now push it. You got to like go faster. Drive. Now drive. More and more until you're at the oh, That's probably enough. Jesus <laughs> Murphy. <laughs> so what, remember what I said? It's smooth. It's smooth. <laughs> very smoothly. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you had your fix yet? Because I'm my heart is racing. No, I have to finish my field. No. <laughs> You're not dumping on the go. That's way too many things to, to, to keep track of. So have them pull up next to me. No. Stop. We're, we're, we want to keep moving. You're all fun. Disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. If you would if you would have gotten them first two turns down, it would have been better. Yeah. We'll maybe let you dump on the go once, but you gotta like be smooth when you're doing that so that every that you get your big little corn in the cart. Yeah. How about the next time when we're over there, flip the camera so that they can see the snouts? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. We'll give you the the forward view of Emily hitting her big corn over. I'm going to slow down a lot. Well, you just said just it's very touchy so just yeah. very little you can't do jerky mo movements just smooth like, so your hand's not big yeah your hand's not big enough to get around the front so if you put your hand up here see how there's the one finger hole here uh, my hand fits on the whole deal yeah. i didn't show any of that i was pointing at the snouts but, but it that's does. her hand that's that's better it doesn't work start yeah, it doesn't just do whatever you need to this is a good speed and you have plenty of room to line up so you can start putting the head down now so you're not into three things at once. Here, 
pretty good there. Is that a good height? Uh, down a little more. Just straight. Just go straight though. Hit that hit that roll. Right, right yep. Now hit it. Like hold the wheel. Alright, now, now you're on auto steer. That was pretty okay. I did it! <laughs> now get her up to like six. Alright, that's good. I did it! I'm so happy. Emily drives the big claws. Oh, so, so we're about to dump on the go. But I am full. Very full. And if I jerk on the throttle like I've been doing, because you know I'm not very good at this, uh, I'm gonna lose all my big little corn. So Mason's got her. <laughs> yeah, this is combine again. You told me I was gonna lose my corn, and I can't lose my corn. I'm really doing a lot here. Look, I'm dumping on the go. Not paying attention to anything. Nope. <laughs> no idea what's going on. I done did it. Ding, ding, done it. The last pass in my field. And then I'll ride in a truck back to the scale house and we'll see if this is big corn or not. Definitely right. not. That's oh, right good. here, it's not like awful, but like. It's not perfect. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Over the driving duties, Mason, pack. My field's done. What's your review on my... What, you want a number score or a letter grade? Both. Number score... Five and a half. Out of ten? Yeah. So, I mean, you passed. I think that's a... I don't know what that is. That's like an F. Almost enough, but you passed. Just a little upgrade. You just need a little. Uh, I need practice, so I should just drive the combine every day. Why not? Because we would never finish our. <laughs> That's a guarantee. Dang it! Got back to the scale house with my sample, or with the my last. Wow! Got back to the scale house with the last truck load from my field, calculated it all up. It went 152, which considering the drought, the not nice soil type, like not horrible, I guess. I don't know. That's it. That's my corn. Not the biggest corn, pretty little corn. I'm just kidding. That combine isn't actually just for me to harvest my field. They actually brought it out. Ziggler's brought it out for Mason to demo because conveniently his combine broke down yesterday. So I'll include videos from um, earlier today when I was out here. This field is Avery's field. And then we're going to go into my field, which is what you've already seen in this video. Just gotta hype it up a little bit, you know? We're picking corn. Little different view. We are moving corn. Yeah. So, turns out they eat corn like everyone said. Run it on 8600 cloths with a 12 roll North Star gearing off head. So we're, uh, we're cooking right along. It's doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, so I broke my combine. We we're gonna demo this one either way today. Maybe we'll get it a little longer, not sure. But uh, yeah, we're, we're picking corn. We're at Avery's Field, one that he's had for a while, so pretty good corn, can't complain. It is a very nice cab, I really like that handle. That's nice. Yeah. I think Emily's coming out in a little bit.
is only one thing that will get Mason fired up, and that's cool equipment, basically. Oh yeah, we're and, all here for demos. And what's what's your vibe check today? I've never seen you happier. You're like a kid in a candy shop. Oh it, yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> good vibe, only. Okay, give us your your review of your class experience, class combine experience. Go run it the uh, 8600 class which is a class 8 with a 12 year old carrying off a chopping head which is very nice it's all very nice <laughs> she is uh she'll eat corn let's just put it that way it's we're picking i mean up here it gets 200 bushel corn and we're picking it six miles an hour and, and what's no loss and you can see the grain is Pretty clean. What's your usual speed at? A uh, four, like four. This this field, I mean, if we could average probably three eight four miles an hour, that'd be pretty good. I mean, like right now we're picking, we're going up in yield because we're getting to the better part. We're like five thousand bushels an hour, so that's five semi loads an hour. When we're picking, I mean, it'll get up to like seven. I had it at 7,200. She was, she was screaming for mercy then. They said I wouldn't <laughs> run out of power, but I did. Mean, you were good. We You're didn't good run one. out of power, but it was uh, it was 100% engine. Right now we're running 70% engine load, making 40, 500 bushel an hour. So now do you think you need one of these? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is went from the want list to the need list. Oh! Okay. Yeah. You got a checkbook? I mean, I told them, they said we could keep it if we give them a check. I told them not to cash it. <laughs> we'll write you a check. Just don't, don't, don't cash, cash it. it. Got auto steer on it, so that's pretty nice. So, I'm, well, they'll have already seen me combining my field. Oh, you're on. You think you're on it? Yeah, I have to. Well, you have to. It's you my field. You body. Yeah, with your check. <laughs> but there's an auto steer option. You have to still like line it up and try and turn it on the headlands and do everything else. Yeah, that's I don't why think I've, your hand's big enough to run the track. That's why I have such a good teacher right here. Your hand's not big enough to run the choice. I'll figure it out. Well, well, we'll see. Well, by now you guys will know if I figured it out or not. At pass. least let me do a couple passes. Yeah, one pass. I, this is my toy. <laughs> wow. We might have it for the weekend. What happened with your combine? Uh, we made, I made a jump out of it. Doing what? pretty tough out today no sun uh, don't have much dust behind me but 
this gearing off head is something else because we were going this morning when we would never be going with them other heads. They would have been wrapping on the auger super bad. And this thing just takes in the ears, which I think is where this thing is gaining some capacity. You don't have, you don't have all that other trash coming in that you do with the other head. You know. And the auto steer is pretty nice too. Doing 5,700 bushel an hour right now. Uh, if I push it, it'll get up to like 6,500, but why break it? We're just going to keep uh, plugging away here. The auto steer sure makes uh, the YouTube and go a lot better, so if everybody wants to tag Daring off in this and uh, tell them they should give us a cornet to use, um, you would get a lot more content because I don't even have to steer it. Look back. No hands. <laughs> uh, it straggles around the curves a little bit. You kind of got to guide her around there. But once you're in the straight rows, it works pretty good. I know Mason already showed that that's kind of what the screen looks like. And then we've got the same ag leader monitors in our combines, which is nice. And then it's got, uh, this one has a reverse cam. That one is on the auger, so you can kind of see behind you there. And then when you're unloading, it's really nice to look into the cart. And I've never had the flipper on the end of the spout. That's kind of nice. It's another element of something you have to do, but I've just kind of been leaving it down and the card guy's getting the right spot. And if I got to move it a little bit to top them off, works pretty good. So, and I've learned that's the tank, that's the tank percentage. And I've learned when it says 100%, it means 100% full. So, yeah. One of the other things I like about this thing is the, I remember what I'm doing here, the auger comes out really fast and it unloads pretty fast too, which is nice. One of the things I don't like about it is it doesn't turn nearly short or nearly short enough in my opinion. Um, the New Holland's definitely turned sharper than this one. Kind of get takes some getting used to because you're used to just whipping right around but uh, don't work so well. So just my thoughts on the Claus was definitely a really nice combine. Um, all new ones are nice, but it really ate corn and I'd say it did, did a really nice job clean, with really clean sample out of it. And uh, it, it just ate a lot of corn, I guess. I mean, we were driving pretty quick and it was doing a really nice job not putting any trash in the in the grain tank and not putting any corn out the back and I mean that's that's all you can ask for and doing it fairly quickly uh, the gearing off head is definitely a really nice head I've never ran any other new heads I've only ran R2412 case heads and uh, yeah, it's a big, big upgrade. I'm sure all the new ones are a bit of an upgrade. I know they're all an upgrade, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can do something with with buying heads or in a combine this winter or spring or something, and we'll see what what happens. I'm not sure what we'll go with yet, but. Definitely gonna do something with heads for sure. So, yeah, I would, I'd like to get a class, I guess, but we'll see what, I think we might be getting something from New Holland. If if they got a new demo combine running around, we're gonna try that out too. Just just see what they are. Kinda, you know, our, the combine we demoed from class was the same class as ours, but seven year eight years newer so that makes a big difference so we'll see we'll see what happens but for now it's doing time that's it for our day demoing the class i think thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe 
If you're new here, thanks for being here. We'll probably do a video at some point introducing us again because I know people have questions and it should just be answered in a video. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Toodles. You have to throw a piece on.